Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So guys, we're in supposedly a wanting to be a sustainable earth, sustainable planet. And, you know, there's been a lot of talk about renewable energy, renewable tennis balls, right? I did a video on that Trinity ball probably a little over a year ago when it first hit the market. Now there's a Trinity Pro and I finally got my hands on a case. All right, so supporting my dark roast coffee habit this morning is Jeremy Yang. Jeremy, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for keeping me up. Greatly appreciate it. If you wanna be my sponsor of my dark roast of the day, just like Jeremy, network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin. Link is below. Guys, thank you so much in advance. There has been a lot of talk about sustainable earth, right? Wilson created the first sustainable tennis ball. Well, kind of. Um, probably about two years ago, maybe a little bit more. And I got my hands on a bunch then, and, I'm, and I've continued to carry those Trinity balls. Unfortunately, they weren't ready for prime time with those. They were... Um, they were great for the cart, great for the slinger bags, uh, those ball machines, um, but not great for tournament play. So they eventually, because I know them, they eventually want to create a ball that you can actually play a tournament in. You know, whether it be, you know, a junior sanctioned tournament, some ITFs, um, you know, possibly make its way up to like a WTA or a, or a ATP tournament, um, you know, somewhere in there. Um, I finally got my hands on the Trinity Pro. So supposedly this is next level, next level tennis ball. Now, the original Trinities... Whenever people ask, I always say, yeah, you got to knock, you got to break it in a bit. Um, the first maybe half hour to an hour, it feels like, it feels and sounds like you're hitting a flat ball, meaning a ball that's been sitting in your bag or your hopper for a while. It sounds like that. It doesn't necessarily feel like that, but it does have kind of a kind of a worn in feel if you know what i mean it, it the one problem with that old trinity is when you imparted spin on it it didn't really jump like a brand new ball would so if any of you know when you open up a can of balls that first 15 minutes 20 minutes the ball jumps the ball is pretty fast and then either you catch up or the ball slows down probably a good combination of both then you kind of get into your groove and figure out the strike zone. This ball is supposedly going to be like that for probably a longer period. So, huh. I mean, they charged enough for this ball. So hopefully, hopefully, um, you know, it, it, it comes to a, uh, comes to fruition where this is going to be a great ball. I mean, it feels, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it feels lighter, lighter balls. It took me a while to get these. These came out like six months ago or more, and I was not able to get them until now. So um, very excited to give the new Trinity Pro ball a try. All right, guys, so we're on the court. Got Coach Rob with me today, Mr. Wilson himself, and the Trinity Pro going on today. Let's let's take a look at the, the old ball test. Mine's dancing longer, taller than yours. 
Maybe I'm starting it higher. Could be. Yeah. All right, let's test them out. All right, so we just got off the court. Trinity Pros from Wilson. Coach Rob, what'd you think? I really like them. I've liked the Trinity. Um, I love the Trinities in the winter because uh, they'll keep bouncing when it's really cold out. And unlike a pressured ball when it's really cold, those things don't bounce. These are great. Um, these, the Pro, felt even better than the actual original Trinity one. I thought they were a little more lively and didn't feel as... Um, Maybe hollow or, but yeah, ball jumped off the racket, felt good. That's right. You just pointed something out to me. It in the old trinities, you heard that weird flat ball noise for like the first. I wanted to say an hour before it kind of broke in. These didn't have that effect. I didn't notice it as. Yeah, no, it 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 it, it literally felt like a brand new ball that you just cracked open. It was actually livelier. It felt lighter and it had more of a jump to them. It's literally like a fresh can of Wilson US Opens that you just opened. Yep. And it kept that uh, liveliness, you know, throughout our, I want to say, hour, hour and a half of hitting. And uh, I actually like these. I think these would be the ones to be played with in a tournament maybe a atp tournament eventually that would be great yeah so or challenger or whatever but i would definitely say um they're on to something here we're getting closer and closer to a renewable or a longer lasting ball that can last set after set on the pro circuit so um yeah no we're gonna keep trying them and and see what happens but definitely um, we're definitely in favor of these. Yep. No break-in period with these. I want to thank my man, Coach Rob, Mr. Wilson himself, for being here with me today. I got Goo now testing out the Trinity Pros. Oh, fancy. Let's see what he thinks. Just got off the court, new, new for us at least, since we yes. just freaking finally got it. Trinity Pro, coach. Um, first I noticed, I mean, playing with this, it definitely felt like the old Trinity. It did have that little, you know, it felt that pop when you hit that contact, when, you hit, when it hits on your strings, it has that nice pop. Um, when I first noticed, this is like we've been using this, but what I noticed a little bit, it's a little softer than the regular Trinity balls, the Trinity balls usually are pretty hard and you basically can't press into them. But the first time I was actually opening these up, you can actually squeeze them a little bit, which is interesting. Um, first thoughts, really surprised that it jumps. This one actually jumps a little higher, especially when you hit top spin, this ball will jump. Um, usually with the old Trinities, those are pretty flat. They basically just hit them and they just skid off the court. This one actually has a little more jump and a little more bite. So especially when you hit topspin, this would definitely reflect that. Um, I think overall, this is a great update to the Trinity. 
uh, family. Um, but I'm hearing from Harry that there might be another one in the making. Am I not allowed to say that? No, there's not one in the making. I'm okay. hoping there's another well, one in the making. Hoping. <laughs> but this is honestly a great update. On like, In my opinion, this is a great update. Um, if I had to choose a Trinity, uh, one of the Trinities, this is my go-to for sure. So what I was referring to, uh, to Coach Gu, was I think they're 90% there. They're 90% yeah. there. Uh, 10 more percent over this ball, and I think they will, in version 3.0, that ball should be ready for for tournaments. Not not necessarily for a slam, but definitely ready for tournaments. Um, as this does react to spin a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Coach Gu was making a jump, and it did jump, and he did notice it. Uh, the Trinity version ones are kind of just a stable baseline. You know, even though you try to make a jump, it doesn't like take off like this stays. one yeah. does. This one just definitely jumps. But definitely noticeable change, noticeable improvement in version two. Mm -hmm. So I think version three, ready for prime time. Okay. So all in all, great ball, great update to Trinity two. Mm -hmm. We recommend it. <laughs> Good job, Good job, Coach Goo, where can we find you? You can find me at AGU's at Tennis, and I'll be able to cut it there as well. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.